Marie è una donna egiziana, madre di tre figli, ma costantemente eh, in viaggio per incontrare e lavorare assieme a gruppi e a reti di donne africane. È presidente dell'Associazione delle Donne d'Affari Egiziana, segretario generale della Società Africana per la Ricerca e la Tecnologia ed è membro del Consiglio per la Cultura, l'Economia e le Politiche Sociali dell'Unione Africana, che rappresenta il Nord Africa. Ha una lunga esperienza anche all'interno della Conferenza per le Pari Opportunità dell'Africa e con lei stiamo iniziando anche a predisporre e a preparare un importante incontro che vorremmo fare qui a Roma con il mondo dell'economia, dell'imprenditoria e del lavoro italiano. Good evening everybody. Uh, I am really glad to be here among all of you and I thank uh, Shipsy for this initiative and I thank, uh, I thank the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs for being together here. Uh, coming from Africa, from North Africa, from Egypt, being the gateway to Africa and the South Mediterranean, and coming from uh, the uprise in North Africa, and uh, would like uh, really before presentation to uh, recognize the revolution which happened in North Africa for the fight for social justice, as Minister the Under Secretary said, uh, social justice is crucial for the development of any uh, community and for development of Africa, social justice is very important. So before starting my presentation, I would like to ask you to stand one moment for silence for the lost lives in North of Africa in all of So as I was mentioning, to achieve actually peace and security all over Africa and to achieve peace and security in the world and across Mediterranean. We are here together to see how we build this partnership and starting this initiative of walking Africa deserves a Nobel. Why do uh, African women deserve a Nobel? All of us here, women of Africa, <laughs> representing all the regions of Africa, are together here to see how we build partnership across the Mediterranean. How can we really be the engine for economic growth in Africa and not the, the, the negative image of African women that always stereotyped in the media. All of us African women here representing many organizations that work for the empowerment of women, political empowerment, economic empowerment, social empowerment. There is a lot of problems in Africa, but how can we achieve this development of Africa? Representing the African Alliance for Women Empowerment and Business and Profession Women of Egypt, and the uh, civil society component of the African Union, which is the Economic, Social, Cultural Council. I am here to tell you that actually to achieve the Millennium Development Goals, all of us know about how the, all the United Nations member states put together the eight Millennium Development Goals, which is how to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Because if we don't really create wealth in Africa, it will be reflected all over the world and will be no security. If the second goal is achieve primary education, we know that in some countries there are more even than 50% illiteracy. So how can we really raise the literacy? How can we promote education among our women because they are the real economic growth driver in Africa? The third MDG, which is promote gender equality and women empowerment, and I believe women empowerment is the key issue for achievement of the eighth millennium development goals because if we empower the women, then she will have access to health care. So the fourth and fifth and sixth millennium development goals, which is reduce child mortality, improve maternal health, and combat HIV, AIDS, and other diseases, so she will have access to health care. Actually, in, we, in uh, the African Union, we started the African uh, Decade Women, which started 2010, and one of the priority areas of it is maternal health, and there are 10, 10 priority areas, how to decrease maternal health and economic empowerment of women, violence against women, women in education, science and technology, several themes that we are working on to promote the women empowerment. 
The seventh goal is ensure environmental sustainability. There can never be environmental sustainability in Africa unless we as women of Africa work on the environmental awareness. Unless we build partnership across Africa and Europe, we know that it is now the climate change, the emission of carbon dioxide, it is not actually the result of industrialization in Africa, it's the industrialization in Europe and the West. So how we in Africa, who are the suffering of this, what can we do together to develop Africa and not having the negative impact of such environmental sustainability. And the aim goal, which is develop a global partnership for development, we are here together to achieve this. How on a global partnership, what we can achieve in Africa on an equal basis, on a basis of investment of women and youth as human resources, how can we, with civil society organizations present here in Italy, with our civil society organization in Africa, can do together. And you can see this is the map of Africa with all of us women in Africa, women organizations working to achieve such millennium development goals and to achieve the, build the capacity of our women in Africa for the real empowerment of our African women. I will start here to show, because I come from Egypt, how the Egyptian women were part of the Egyptian revolution for the fight against dictatorship and for the fight for social justice. We know women have shared, even in revolution in 1919 in, in Egypt, they are the ones who started the revolution against British occupation. And you can see there was a march for equality since 1923 to improve women's education level and ensure political and social equality. This is 1919 where women started the evolution in Egypt and this is 12, 12, 2011 where we this year manifested the real transformation in Egypt with women and men coming together in the role again for social justice. So the upright actually of North Africa which is the gateway to Africa and we see that peace and security in the world depends on the development and the economic growth in the least developed countries based on social justice, rule of law, and democracy. Just like the State Secretary of Women Affairs mentioned that social justice is crucial for any peace and security in the world. And the bridge across the Mediterranean between Africa and Europe so unless there is development in all Africa, South Mediterranean, there will always be instability and immigration exported to Europe north of the Mediterranean. So actually the issue of immigration comes because there is less development in Africa. So how can we, in partnership with all of you, build the development in Africa in order not to export immigrants? This has to be an equal partnership to see what can we do together for achieving this. And this actually can never be achieved unless we have economic growth, because I always say that peace and security and economic empowerment are two pieces of one coin. As women of Africa are the real victims of conflicts and wars, the women are the ones actually who could be the drivers of economic growth. 80% of women working in agriculture in Africa, but not in agribusiness, which means that they are working in agriculture, but they export their products and they don't do agribusiness. The women are in the informal sector, so how can we empower them to be able to be owners of small and medium companies? Not only of small and medium, why not large companies? We really have to empower women not to be confined to microcredit. They have to be upscaled to other levels, not only at the lower level. And that's actually what we should do together. What can we do as partnership? As civil society, business and professional women in Egypt, business and professional women in Italy, both civil society, what can we do together across this side, two sides of the Mediterranean to empower the, the, the private sector, which is the real economic cross. So all of us know that Africa is the richest continent on earth, but yet it is the poorest of them all. Why? Because we really don't invest in our human resources, and that's including we, women, and our youth. We don't invest in education, science, and technology. We don't industrialize our raw materials. All our raw materials are exported uh, to the West and to Europe, and we re-import it after value addition. What about we as here building partnership to add value in the African continent? And this will be a win-win situation for everybody. It will achieve development in Africa. It will raise stability all over the region. So actually, why shouldn't we add value and have partnership, joint venture, investment in human resources, investment in uh, in enterprises, 
in the private sector. So how can we really build the capacity of our human resources, including women and youth, to develop real Africa? How can we achieve this partnership of the, with the world on an equal basis to achieve Africa's development and not on the exploitation of resources of Africa? We need really to be together to build the development on both sides of the Mediterranean. And empowering women, how can we do it? Through education, building capacity, access to technology and financial resources. And in such calling empowering, we really to see how we empower women also in conflict zones in Africa, because there are a lot of conflict zones in Africa. So how can we build the economy and be part of the reconstructing the country? How can we rehabilitate the women survivors of conflict? How can we create jobs and help economic growth? Job opportunities. We, have, we can see that even here in Europe there are a lot of jobs. Uh, 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 um, there is unemployment. How can, what can we do together to achieve job creation and you know, economic growth? Why economic empowerment of women to be part of decision making to achieve sustainable development? No, she, no development can be done unless the women are involved. And we women of Africa are part of the whole procedure. We have to be involved. We have to have a decision. And we cannot have decision unless we have economic empowerment and economic growth. Because I always say that, <coughs> what is the real power? If you share with me the real definition of power, I would say that the power is the potency, the capacity to act and to implement. What do I mean by that? I mean that we, all of us here, as civil society, as government, as private sector, has to have the real power, the potency, the capacity to implement what we are talking about. If we're talking now that Walking Africa deserves the Nobel, we should work for it to have this Nobel. Not only the price, the price is only a symbol, but the whole recognition of the African women to be able to be the real deservers of the Nobel Prize. If we don't work for this and we have an idea in our hands and don't implement it, then we are not powerful, we are powerless. The real power is to achieve one idea in our heads and work for it all together in partnership to make it a reality. So the real power is when a dream comes reality, when the real idea comes into action. This is the real power.